morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, good morning, good morning. <sighs> to be back, I cannot even tell you how happy I am right now. Okay, so today, all day, rhino friend. Now, what actually needs to be done, right? What actually needs to be done is the Doodly video. Now, Doodly is a software that we, that we already own. We, we bought it. We've scripted the videos. Everything's done, except we need to make it. Now, Doodly is like a whiteboard software where we can then take caricatures, drag and drop, and then animate them to be within the storyline of the script that we made. Then we have to do voiceovers on it. So the real challenge I have is I don't know how long that takes. I've never made a Doodly video. But since we have the script already done, it should be just drag and drop. Okay. Now the voiceover might be a little difficult because I'm not sure I'm going to use my own voice, but we have all of our tech, right? Like we have partnerships with 11 Labs. I could go ahead and put it in there and then copy and paste it. It's just labor intensive. So I really believe, although I don't know for certain that today is not problem solving, it's labor. In which case I'm here, right? I, I, I have lunch in the fridge. I'm here. Um, we completed the migration from Salesforce to Kartra. We have 18,500 emails. Now these are the super duper dupers. These are the ones that open up at 50% or higher and click 31% uh, or higher, which means if we do a good job on our sales page and our video, and we're able to communicate what this is quite effectively, and the offer is makes sense. Now the offer is going to be a fifty dollar enrollment plus fifteen dollars per week once it launches, uh, which will be October 9th, or maybe we even push it to October sixteenth. Considering I can't keep a timeline to save my life. Now to me that makes sense, but does it? Is there a way that we can really say, you know what, this last two, three weeks have been a complete nightmare. We're well behind to everywhere that we thought we'd be in terms of finances. Can we pour a little gasoline on that? In which case, everyone in the community is very well versed. You, you, everyone knows what's going on. So could we say, listen, right time, right place. It's 50, but for today only, literally till midnight, I'll do it for 20 as an enrollment. Will people say, okay, uh, duh, okay. And then tomorrow, Listen, 20 is gone. Like, see you later. It's 30 today till midnight. Where now Saturday is like, I I'm going to take this man at his word. It was just 20. It's done. I only have 30. It's going to be 50 Friday. What am I waiting for? Let me get in. And then Sunday will be 40. And then Monday will be a full week of 50. And then after next week, it goes to 100. In which case, the only people that can offer 50 again is the affiliate team. Because we're going to actively fully support the affiliates to give you the ability to offer to others at 50% off what we'll offer. So we'll keep it at a hundred so that we can benefit you. Now, of course, benefiting you benefits us. So it's not like we're doing you a favor. This is just a good working relationship. Of every 50 that the affiliate brings in, 40 of it is a cash reward directly to the affiliate. On top of that, because the recurring is $15 a week, $5 of that 15 is, is um, the affiliates for the lifetime of the person being in. Meaning, as an affiliate, if you say, okay, I got 10 people in, well, 10 times 40 is 400, 400 bucks, here you go. And of those 10, let's assume all 10 stay in for an entire year, 10 times five is $50 a week, a week for that entire year to you. So it's 52 weeks in a year, that comes out to what, like 2,600 bucks. So 400 bucks plus 2,600 bucks, if you get 10 people and they stay in for a year, over the course of the year, you would have made $3,000. Now, here's the thing, we're not, we're not selling like the new chapstick. Take Google, take Facebook, put them together, make it better, Rhino Friend. And we're going to do a good job describing that, hence the scripting that we did. So I do think a lot of my time today has to be, A, I gotta make, I, I wanna curse. I have to make the videos. End of story, nothing gets done until those videos are done. I will not even use the bathroom until those videos get done. So if I have to be like a NASCAR driver and have a diaper on, it's going to happen or an astronaut, right? And these are, these are good people. Uh, so that's going to happen. Once that's done, I want to spend some time on the affiliate program in terms of creating that email. The good thing is none of this is going live yet. Live doesn't happen till October, meaning I can make an email saying, this is what's going on without actually having to have the assets in place. Mr. Jones, these are your next steps. Bop, 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 bop. Now the assets I do have to have in place are the affiliate stuff in terms of giving you enough to promote elsewhere, 
but I don't need to do that till Monday because you're not able to promote till Monday. This weekend is Rhino. Monday going, actually, that's not even the case because next week is 50 for Rhino. So you actually aren't even able to promote till, I'll give you next weekend. So I'll cut my promotions off Friday and then I'll jump to 100. And if we have enough, if we have enough affiliates, I'll do this because to give away a weekend is kind of a big deal. If enough people are interested and we get enough affiliate signups, I will give you next weekend and I'll cut our promotion off at Friday, meaning we'll go from 50 to 100 on Friday, which means all next weekend you have car blanche. You are the only ones that could do 50. If we don't have enough affiliates, I will take next weekend because again, I'm, I, I serve at the pleasure of Rhino, not at Anthony. They're two different people. So we'll figure that out. But the point being, I don't actually need to have those assets done until the end of next week, which means my follow-up emails only need to be, hey, you're in. This is what you can expect. Tuesday, you'll get this. Wednesday, you'll get this. Friday, you'll get this. Which means my follow-up stuff is actually quite simple. I just need to build out the sequence and the tags, not the actual content. I do need to build out the affiliate page, though, because I want you to sign up to be an affiliate. So that needs to be done as well today as well. Um. I think that's it. I really think that's bare bones minimum because I do also want to have the form for people to sign up for the business, but I don't need it today. I could say, all right, you'll get that form next week. You'll get it Monday, in which case I can work with my team to make sure the form is done and it's connected to the air table, which goes to the Rhino street, blah. So I think really what I need to do, the videos, and then put together a promotional weekend, in which case here's the goal. We have 18 and a half thousand that really love us. These are our evangelists. If we could get 5% this weekend, we're looking at a little less than a thousand. It's like I don't know, 900, something like that. 900, I'd say an average of $35 because we're going 20 to 50, comes out to 35,000. And then we have the $15 a, a weekly starting mid-October, which is you know roughly 14,000 a week. We're happy with that as a, as a first weekend. And then all next week we promote, 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 which in that case I'm going to be doing webinars, lives, emails. You might see me running around in New York city with a guitar and just the, the boxers on like the, the naked cowboy. We're going to get there. So this is my time. This is my scheduling. This is what's happening going forward. Um, so that's just where we are. Uh, Rhino bucks, I think is at like over two Oh six now uh, with Rhino bucks. Again, I'm not, purposely going to run it up. I'm keeping it at its pace because because of this recent two months, there is a certain amount of people that I, I get the emails, right? So, and how do I do this? How do I do this? The spike in how to sell Rhino Bucks has been noticeable over the last week. Not the spike in selling, but the spike in how do I? And it's, it's no one of consequence. And what I mean by that, it's no one in the top 10 or top 20. But when you start adding people up, it starts becoming like a bit of a pain in the butt. And that's fine. We say yes to everyone. This is how you do it. You want to book a call. I'll help you through it, whatever. But I don't have any obligation to run it up to a price of like $3 to, you know, hey, you're selling. So let me make sure that you take as much as, no, this is what it is. That being said, the money that comes in for Rhino Friend is going to go to Rhino Bucks. I want to put right into Rhino Bucks. I want Rhino Bucks to be $3 by the end of next week. That's what I want. Now, whether it happens or not, it's a whole different ballgame. I mean, I've been terrible with these prices. But you also remember something, and, and this is the part that I think sometimes gets lost. And it's not, it's not a, a, like a bad commentary on you for not getting this, if it's lost on you. Rhino only has 670 members, something like that. The average per member is only $11.85, meaning the weekly income of Rhino is only six to $7,000. I think that's what the math comes, something like that, right? Now it's always been that way since the beginning. You know, it's, it's steadily increased 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, whatever the case may be. So the function of the price is completely dependent and anchored to that very, very minimal market. The market of Rhino Bucks has never been, this is a mature market. It's always been, this is a proof of concept market. And for that, 97% of the transactions in Rhino have always been on the buy side. 
87% of the volume has always been on the buy side. 84% of the dollar amount has always been on the buy side. So the proof of concept, I'm, I'm, it, we got in spades. I'm not even worried about that. I never wake up thinking, oh my God, I wonder what the price is today. The price took a hit because one person and they needed the money. That's fine. God bless. But in terms of, oh my God, 70 people sold. No, it, it, it doesn't work. It, anything's possible, but that's not been the behavior. That would be an aberration. And I do everything in my power to make sure that the, the context to ever foster an aberration like that doesn't exist. So I'm constantly putting down the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the pesticides to make sure those bugs don't feel uh, fruitful. The point being, if and when Rhino Bucks brings us our first thousand people, you're talking about a market of 600 immediately going to a market of 1600. That's 250% higher than what we currently have. When you're talking about being a $50 sign up plus a $15 residual, you're talking about a market that has no sign up and is only $11 a week now having a, a sign up and a $15 a week. By all intents and purposes, you triple the market overnight with just your first thousand signups. The point being, wow, Anthony, if you think about it like that, we're sitting at $2.06. Now, Ant, I know you, you're not going to allow the market to triple because you want to constantly build the, the fortifying, right? You want to constantly build the market. Yeah. But I'm still a person. I would love nothing more than to double that price overnight responsibly. I'm not doubling a price where then one person could sell and we cut the price in half. That makes no sense to me. But if I could double the price, so say the market grows three times. So we have a hundred dollar markets now worth three hundred dollars. If I could take a hundred dollar market and raise it a hundred dollars, so now the market is double in price, two hundred dollars, and take that extra hundred and shove it into the market to fortify any selling that comes of it, that's my goal. So realistically, do I believe that by the middle of September there's a reasonable chance that Rhino Bucks is four dollars and anyone can sell and it would it would hold that level. Yeah, that's that's the goal. Like I'm I'm saying it out loud. That's what I want to do. And and then in that scenario, you then take a look back and say, oh, when it was when it was two forty, I, I really wish I sold. And then at two seventy, I felt greedy. And then at two oh six, I felt really silly. Well, yeah, because we're, we're we're working with a small market, but not a mature market. It's proof of concept market. Once the people start coming in, now you're like, oh, at four dollars, two oh six, two forty, like. It doesn't even matter anymore. And at $6 and at $8, it's like I was talking about cents in the $2 range where it didn't even make sense to me. It's because rising tides lift all ships. We don't have a tide. We just have ships in sand right now. Rhino friend is the water. So let me get the water going. Andy, for the sake of all long-term people, are you... <laughs> um, Andy's the best. Okay. So let me run. I got some work to do. Um, I really am happy to have this call. I, I do miss everyone and I love all y'all really, really more than words. So let me get to work. Let me get these videos done and let's have a really, really fun weekend. Love y'all. Thank you again. Seriously. Bye.